Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Pisces, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And yes, Pisces, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Oh, four of wands, two of cups. Okay, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, uh, Pisces, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, for me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B bottom of my deck the moon card in reverse well maybe some secrets are soon to be revealed let's see uh, i do sense uh, i do sense i do sense one person really does want this they i mean the four of wands is a forever i want to be married i want a you know partnership they see their person as their perfect person the two of cups the other person they have the star but they do have the two of swords with it so either they've been wishing and praying for somebody to choose them or to know what direction maybe they've been waiting for the other person to express Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course. So let's start with your dialogue message cards here. Um, Pisces, let's take this deck. Okay. So let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we're going to clarify these. Pisces and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person. Pisces and their person. All right. Let's take a few more Pisces from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Pisces and their person. Right. Just a few more Pisces from a third deck. Pisces and their person. Pisces and their person. Spirit. Oops, that was too many. Should I put them back? Yes, let's just put these back and give it one more shuffle. Pisces and that person. I think somebody has a lot to say. No wonder the moon card in reverse. I want to express all the secrets I've been keeping in my heart. And uh, yes, and Pisces, I'm sorry I was not available for personal readings last uh, month, but I'm available now. And all the ones who've already sent me emails and I haven't responded, just resend them and I'll put you in priority immediately okay so the first card here says I know you won't feel the same you're all I desire I still have your pictures saved you seem distant not yourself I feel you pulling away from me this situation is messy I've never felt such an intense connection. I have anger issues I'm working on. Even though we're not together, I just can't see myself letting you go. You're much more attractive to me when you're empowered rather than when you're feeling insecure. Sometimes, because I know we'll be together, I take you for granted. I'm not sure if you love me for me or who you think I am. Your presence in my life has turned my world upside down. I want to marry you one day. See, that's what I was feeling. Somebody is sure that, you know, the other person is their forever partner. You're too good for me. All right, Pisces, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today. As a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. 
safe travel so either there somebody is coming traveling to come to see you personally uh, pisces uh, but spiritually this card actually means you will be moving on from one phase of your life to the next effortlessly like look at this angel carrying this baby on their back and crossing a stream but uh, not allowing even the little toe of this baby to get wet so it'll be effortless this uh, movement from one phase of your life to another is being divinely guided and protected okay so let's put this card here and let's see what's going on in the reading now so person a let's start with you and pisces newcomers don't get confused this is person a this is person b you could be either side. If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which, which side you're on, okay? So right now I'm going to only focus on person A's energy. Person A, four of wands in your um, feelings. Four of wands. Oh, ace of cups. Somebody is heavily thinking about... Uh, Somebody is just heavily thinking about the other person, the love they have in their heart, their hopes and desires. Maybe person A has been waiting for a long time, uh, maybe waiting for the wheel to turn so, you know, things can move forward. Wanting answers. Yeah, but i think it's coming to a point where um, person a who's all who's been the one who's always known that person b is their two of cups is the person i want to marry this is the person i want forever maybe waiting 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 that when will the tide change omkara taro when will i have this safe travel from one phase of my life to another uh, they, this person has been praying wishing contemplating but coming to a point where they're getting a bit exhausted person is feeling like yeah i know that this is my person i know they are my soulmate twin flame but why is this person never opening up why are they still still hiding their emotions or not talking to me or not expressing it I, it's getting a bit tiring for me i need to know that they feel the same two of cups two of cups yeah, I think person A is the one who's been waiting forever, wondering when, 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 when will this person ever come back or come to me? I've been waiting, you know, with the world in my hands, with, you know, waiting for them to decide which direction is this connection going. Uh, heart of hearts, person A has always been sure that they want this. I want this Ten of Cups. I know this is my person. I want a happily ever after with them. But I think waiting on the other person who's... Uh, I think not uh, spoken up yet, right? They could have been the ones who were hiding their emotions. Person B is the one who's never come up to actually declare their love or that they feel the same. So why do you feel that way, person A, tell me? Death card, waiting for a transformation, waiting to be chosen, waiting for the other person to come and express themselves and uh, feeling stuck and bound and tied, waiting for one phase of their life to be over so a new one can begin. But look at this being trapped in their mind because they are waiting for the other person. When are you going to you know, acknowledge what I feel so strongly in my heart? When are you going to express what you've been hiding in your heart? When are you going to tell me that I'm your chosen one? All this while, I think person A has been waiting. They've just been feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling not seen, not heard, feeling very frustrated, feeling the lack of victory and uh, feeling that their person just doesn't value them, is not acknowledging them. Uh, it only comes forward with uh, arguments and fights or rash words and you know, it's it's bothering person A that, you know, uh, they're just creating more and more bad memories in this beautiful soulmate connection. So person A, tell me, how do you feel about your person now? How do you see person B and how do you feel about them now? Person A says, I still see them as my emperor. <laughs> I still see them as the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Um, I still do love them. I have a lot of love in my heart for them, Omkara Taro. If only they would stop behaving like, uh, I don't mean anything to them. I, I mean, if only they would 
not hide or play games or give illusions or behave like a trickster uh, that they make me happy but this aspect of them doesn't make me happy nine of cups what's the nine of cups nine of cups i think person is losing a bit of their strength because of the time that person B is taking to come forward with uh, expressing their emotions. They feel that what if this person never takes a leap of faith? What if I, I'm being a fool? What, what if there is nothing on offer? Uh, I might as well, uh, you know, spend my time taking, making my own dreams and wishes come true. Maybe it's time for me to start healing my broken heart. Uh, but somewhere I think still hoping for, they're holding on to that hope that they can come out of their hermit mode, their loneliness and a passionate brand new beginning can happen. It's like, you know, like knowing that this is what I want, but trying to make the most of the time that this person is not coming forward, trying to heal themselves, trying to make make their own dreams and wishes come true. But meanwhile, yeah, still hoping that, you know, maybe there will be a new beginning or they will come forward. So what action person A is going to finally take towards person B, I'll open later. Uh, let's go on to person B's side and see how person B is feeling first. So person B, what's the star? in your feelings star they are i don't know this person feels they do see person a as a shining star of their life this is their wish come true that's for sure but they feel that uh, things are moving really slow or they feel that uh, person A doesn't want commitment with them or has made some decision against them and that's keeping them stuck. Yeah, they're feeling, uh, they feel that um, maybe person B was the one who was playing mind games in the middle, right, before. And uh, now they feel that what if I go towards them? What if my person has already made a decision that they don't want me back anymore? What if... Uh, what if I become the loser now? They're feeling, they're feeling blocked or they're blocking their own selves right now. Two of swords, two of swords. Yeah, they're depressed. They're depressed because maybe they, it was them. Maybe it was them who was, who was playing mind games in the past. And now they're depressed because they feel that uh, their person doesn't want them anymore. Maybe they are the ones who disrespected person A in the past and now they feel, oh my God, now what do I do? I don't know which direction to go. Uh, I'm sure by now person A has already made that choice or that decision that they don't want me anymore. And they, this person is stuck. Yeah, but that doesn't stop them from wishing, hoping, praying. What are you hoping for? That they don't get rejected. They feel, they feel, hey, my person is such a star, my person is so beautiful, my person is wonderful and I know I broke their heart in the past, I broke promises and what if I go towards them now and they reject me and that thought is I think keeping person be stuck and not allowing them to come forward. Why do you feel this way person B? Tell me. Four of Swords. I think they took too much time thinking or contemplating. Uh, now they, they, this person is, they know they took too much time. They, they just didn't make a move, I think, in the past. And they feel by now, uh, the other person is not going to want me back. They don't want to have any more, you know, future with me uh, they're not even going to be missing me anymore or they they i'm sure they found another two of cups elsewhere heart of hearts i think person b does want to rebuild yeah they do want to rebuild but the problem here is that the frustration is that they don't know how to now ask for it they this person may have lack of communication skills or how do I tell them now that I don't want to be a player anymore I do want to rebuild with you but where are the words they have no words uh, all they can feel is the love they feel in their heart which is really strong for the other person it's like oh my god I have unconditional love for them but what if 
my person has withdrawn their love now and what if I do go towards them and they say no you know what uh, I'm not interested they probably know that they'll have to start with an apology am I right yeah uh, they will have to start with an apology and uh, even then they're not sure even if I do apologize that sense of you know why didn't I commit before why didn't I move because something is keeping this person blocked they know they need to come forward with an apology but their own sense of disappointment is keeping this person stuck why do you feel uh, okay how do you feel about person A now tell me how do you feel about the connection how do you feel about them uh, five of cups again same thing disappointment look you know they are concentrating so much on the past that they're not even turning around to see that maybe the two cups are still full they're so concentrating on the past memories of shame regret guilt feeling foolish uh, two five of cups yeah maybe this person was the one who never took action was selfish was self-centered uh, was only thinking about themselves and now as much as they do want to step up to the game they want to now come back and prove to person A that you know now I'm no longer that selfish person and I'm ready to take responsibility this person is realizing maybe they delayed it for too long they delayed it for too long maybe their person is uh, given up on them and that thought makes them feel very unhappy they feel I'm not sure whether I can make my dreams and wishes come true now do they want a they, do they want a new beginning absolutely yes so what's the fool card what's the fool card they feel foolish as well yeah it's like they want to take a leap of faith and have this ten of pentacles that's for sure but they know because of their past lying cheating behavior or ghosting uh, they feel things have gone so backwards that you know now that I'm ready what if my person has given up on me am I right person B yeah they feel the person is no longer stressing on them crying over them is no longer going to be upset uh, that you know they've lost this partnership uh, yeah they somehow are judging themselves they feel that their person looks at them as a, a non-committal person who's not ready to take responsibility has already dropped them like a you know it's like bad baggage this person was the, the wrong person I'm going to drop them so this is the feeling that they have of themselves and that's what keeps them stuck as much as they want it now they want this new beginning they want a happily ever after in fact they're showing up as somebody very responsible and I've changed and I want to take charge of the situation but what if my person does still sees me in the old light that's what that's the problem with them so they're keeping themselves stuck after their own mental fears so let's see what action you guys will take now I'm going to take another deck for this one Pisces and while I shuffle these cards may I please request you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate makes me feel happy thank you and uh, newcomers repeating viewers the ones who haven't subscribed already do subscribe to the channel join the channel we welcome you to the Omkara family all right so person A let's start with you action from your end towards person B or otherwise the hermit why the hermit how is that an action I think person A is just going within or connecting with their spirituality at this time hermit the wheel of fortune five of swords queen of wands and the moon I don't think person A is going to be the one to reach out they, they, they are going to be allowing the universe to just do what the universe needs to do I think they with the moon card and the hermit card uh, they don't want to stir up any trouble because of all the maybe arguments fights or whatever's happened in the past I think person A is going to go with the flow meanwhile I think they're going to take good care of themselves 
it's like i'm going to focus on myself i've got my spiritual downloads i'm going to wait for things to move in the way they're meant to behave to move i'm not looking for any more conflicts yet i guess they have deep emotions for person b even now from what i feel but they're trying to be strong uh, person B, what about you? Any action from your end towards person A or otherwise? Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups in your action? The Hermit. Both of you are in Hermit mode. Both of you are in Hermit mode. Both of you want the same thing. Oh God. Queen of Swords. Seven of Cups. Temperance, both of you are just wasting time for some reason. Somewhere person B feels that person A has walked away because of their past behavior, their you know, um, inconsistent behavior, maybe player ways. I think both of you are right now in your hermit zone, gone within to understand this connection. Right? Somewhere they, person B feels that person A has walked away. They've taken their power back. Maybe now they have other options. So they're not doing anything either. They're just biding their time. This is a card of patience. Right? While person B is sitting in their quiet energy contemplating, person A is sitting in their moon and hermit energy, both not trying to stir up any trouble. So then spirit, why was the moon card in reverse? What's both trying to understand, I think, what the other person is going through without really talking about it. What's the moon card in reverse? Why is the moon card in reverse as the overall energy for Pisces reading today? Ten of Swords, Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. I think this is person B who who's a bit confused right now. They don't know what to do because they know that uh, they are the cause of a strong betrayal or maybe they're the ones who hurt their partner. They know they need to come and apologize first to have any kind of clarity or maybe this is spirit's uh, advice, I don't know. That somebody in this uh, scenario has been hurt big time. It's time to remove these swords first and foremost with an apology so that communication can begin. Communication, clarity, uh, you know, I think it is person B who has never been able to uh, speak their truth. They have always been harsh or rude or, you know, camouflaging their, you know, words with harshness because they were afraid to talk. So, an apology could be a good way to start here, person B. I think this is for you instead of just sitting around and waiting, maybe then things can come out in the clear and you guys can move on to the next phase of your life. So that's what I have for you till, because person A, sorry, because person A is still in the dark. They don't know what person B is thinking. They, they're just drowning in their own emotions right now because trying to pretend that all is well and I'm good and happy and I'm but they don't know what person B's heart and mind and soul truly wants. So um, an apology is required here, person B, from you to person A, I feel. That's all I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.